Subscribe to Boostup Station if you haven't. And today we are going to fix NTFS read-only problem in Arch, Manjaro, and other Arch-based distros. So first of all, let me show you that this is the NTFS partition I have mounted. If I right-click on any file, I cannot cut it, I cannot paste, I cannot move to trace, and I cannot delete the file. And I even cannot create a folder or documents or paste anything. So before proceeding, let us unmount this partition and remove and reinstall NTFS dependencies. So execute these commands one by one into the terminal. Press enter, type your user password and press enter. So it says NTFS progs not found. That is okay. Move to the next command. We are going to remove NTFS 3G. Type Y and press enter. Removed. Now make sure you are connected to internet before executing this third command. Press enter. Type Y and press enter. Now it will download NTFS 3Z and install it. It is installed. Now let us check which of the NTFS partitions we have in our system. Press enter and here we get a list. So I have one, two, three, four and five NTFS partitions in my system. You can see type of them is NTFS. So the partition which I opened in the starting of video was SDA3. It was a Windows partition. So we are going to fix it using this command. You have to run these commands for all of these partitions which you have where you want read and write access both. So first of all, let's go with the SDA3. Press enter. And now you can see that the volume was processed successfully. Now let us go to our file manager and I am going to mount this partition. It may ask you for your user password. Just type it and press enter. Now here you can see that I am able to create a folder and I can cut it or I can move it to trace or delete it. Whatever you want. All of the read and write operations are working without any kind of problems. And let me do it for all of my NTFS partitions because I want all of them to be fixed. SDB10, SDB9. I am leaving this SDB10 and 9. Let me fix them too. SDB9 was processed successfully. Now you can see in the last partition SDB10, I have another windows installed. So you can see that windows is hibernated, refused to mount and the remount failed, operation not permitted. So what you have to do is boot into this windows, shut it down, going to the start and shut down. And then when you come again to Linux and execute this same command, you will be able to mount it like this and it will be showing you processed successfully with read and write access. So please subscribe to Boostup Station and that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.